Hey everyone, Chris Stoltz coming at you once again from the Muppet Stuff Museum, and today we have an unboxing of the new Disney Muppet Dorables. <laughs> First, let me show you a few things I picked up on my way to finding the Dorables. My first stop took me to Joanne Fabrics and Crafts where I found this Muppet Babies fabric pattern. The pattern features Kermit, Fozzie, Animal, and Summer Penguin. I'm not sure why Gonzo and Miss Piggy were not included, but it is what it is. Another interesting thing about the pattern is, while Animal is talking about his drumsticks and Summer is talking about snowflakes, Kermit is talking about a rocket ship and Fozzie is talking about a banjo. I'm not sure why Fozzie is talking about a banjo while Kermit is talking about a rocket ship. That seems like it could be switched. Uh, Fozzie could be talking about a rubber chicken, but Kermit should definitely be the one talking about a banjo. Walmart is the store where you can find the Muppet Dorables, and on our way to the toy aisle, I happened to look down the crafting aisle and found a Sesame Street fabric. This one is made by Mad Engine and features Cookie Monster, Big Bird, Grover, Bert, Elmo, Ernie, and Oscar the Grouch. I'm not sure why this is called a fat quarter. I've never seen a quarter that was square, fabric, or this large before, but I'm sure it'll fit in any skee-ball machine, jukebox, or anything else where a quarter would fit. You put this in and I'm sure a gumball or something will come out, right? Okay, and now onto the main event, the unboxing of the Dorables. As you can see, it comes in a box shaped like a door, and I'm assuming the characters are in doors inside. Disney Dorables. Your favorite Disney Dorable characters with sparkly glitter eyes. So tiny and cute, you can't help but collect them all. The line features Animal, Dr. Honeydew, Miss Piggy, Kermit, Rolf, Fozzie, Gonzo, Sam, and a bonus mystery figure of Beaker, which is only available in 1 in 12 packs. So yes, all main 8 characters are included in this, but a possible ninth Beaker could be in here as well. So let's see. Now that the wrapping's off, let me show you a little bit more about the box. The front features Kermit, Fozzie, and Animal. One side features Dr. Bunsen, Honeydew, and Gonzo. While the other side features Miss Piggy and Rolf. Okay, let's open this baby up and see what we got. So here is a little card. It says Disney Dorables Special Edition Certificate and it has all the characters you can find here. Okay, so here are the doors, so let's open them up. And before you say, well, you can just see who's in there. Well, no, you can't do that because they're all individually bagged as well. All right, let's start with uh, door number one here. It says pull. And door number one reveals. Animal. Check out Animal. He is uh, super happy. He's got these crazy sparkly eyes. Gotta love the Animal Dorable. Okay, on to box number two. Pull this little tab here. Pull the bag out. And it's Kermit. It's kind of odd how his eyes are kind of sunken in. It doesn't quite have that Kermit feel. It would be better if they were kind of on the top of his head instead of sunken in. But this way, he kind of looks like a mushroom almost. But all right, there is the Kermit Dorable. On to box number three. This one has a Fozzie outline on it. So I don't know if they're telling you who's in there or if it's just who it might be, but that's kind of odd they would have an outline of a character on there. Let's let's see who it is. Feels kind of big. And it's Miss Piggy. So Miss Piggy is in the Fozzie door. So, okay, maybe not telling you exactly who's inside. So this is the Miss Piggy. She's got the sparkly eyes. Her hair is super long. Her hair is as long as her whole body. Uh, that's wild. Um, okay, so she's got a little bow going there. You can see her pearls. 
Ah, nicely done, Miss Piggy. Okay. Next door. Let's see. Let's pull the one that is supposed to have Miss Piggy. Now that we know that's not going to be in there. Let's see what's what we got. And it's Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. The way his uh, eyes are with these glittery eyes, it almost looks like sunglasses for him. That's kind of odd. So this is this is a cool Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. This is from his Muppets Tonight, you know, uh, midlife crisis phase Bunsen Honeydew. He's like pointing, you know, hey, check that out. Okay, let's see who's next. This one's a double door. So let's see what that's about. And it's Rolf. It almost looks like he has, like, he's ready for his piano to be put in his hands or something. But he's like, ah, hanging out there. But, uh, okay. Pretty cool looking Rolf. On to the next door. And it is Fozzie Bear with a banana, I should add. Look at that. Look at his eyes. I mean, these eyes are all kinds of funky. But as you can see, he's got a banana. He's got his bow tie. He's got his hat. He's got his butt. Fozzie Bear. Okay, on to the next door. And it's Gonzo. Here is Gonzo. He's straightening his tie, it looks like. That is interesting. I like how his hair is up there. I mean, if you're going to do hair up there or something up there, you could have easily done Kermit's eyes up there. So I don't know what that's about, the sunken eyes for Kermit and you still have Gonzo's hair. I, I don't know. But uh, all right, cool. There is Gonzo. Okay, one last door. It has a silhouette of Bunsen on it, but we know Bunsen's not in there. So uh, let's see who it could possibly be. It is Sam Eagle. And look, this Sam Eagle, I think, has a production defect. He has like a mole or something. It's constantly pretending to be Sam. It's a doppelganger. It's the world's most dangerous eagle. That's what's going on here. Maybe, possibly. Anyway, Sam Eagle, he's very stern because I don't believe I got the chase in this. So that's why Sam looks so uh, angry and perturbed. But, of course, that's how Sam looks all the time. So one can't really tell. But these are really nicely done. His hands are behind his back and he's just like, humph, well, these doorbells are not as cute as I expected to be and they are un-American and therefore I don't like them. Sam Eagle for you. Okay, as you can see, that is all the doors. So this box did not have the chase. So now I'm on the hunt for the Beaker exclusive. And before someone comments that I didn't open the box correctly, yes, you are correct. I did not open the box correctly. You're actually supposed to open the front big door to reveal the smaller doors inside. All right, so now it's been a few weeks and I was able to find a Dorables Beaker. So yes, while he was not in my original pack, I was able to find one online for not a whole lot of money. So now I have a complete set. So here you can see Beaker and he is in his kind of like Edward Monk, like the scream pose, like, ah, which is just, you know, typical Beaker. Of course, you know, Bunsen has done some kind of experiment on him or is about to and he is noticeably freaked out or anticipating that he's going to need to freak out. So typical Beaker fashion, he has got his uh, hands up and he has covered his mouth and he is ready to be freaked out. And again, I got to point out how just bizarre and super glittery these eyes are on these things. They really catch the light. So you just move them around in any way and they're like, whoa, what is that? I see that thing. It's bizarre and I like it. So now you can see the full line of Muppet Dorbles, including the Chase Beaker, which is only available in one in 12 boxes. I also wanted to give you a sense of just how small these figures are, if you couldn't already tell. So here's a look at how they compare to other previously released figures. See, here we have the Dorables animal next to the Fisher-Price version, the Kermit Dorable next to his Fisher-Price counterpart, the Rolf Dorable compared to both his Schleck PVC and Fisher-Price counterpart, the Fozzie Dorable compared to his Schleck PVC and Fisher-Price counterpart, 
the Miss Piggy Dorable next to both her Schleck PVC and Fisher Price counterpart, the Sam Dorable next to both his Schleck PVC and Palisades action figure, the Gonzo Dorable compared to both his Fisher Price and Palisades figures. Finally, we have the Bunsen and Beaker Dorables compared to their Lego minifigures, which I think are the only figures they're smaller than. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite item from this video was. Please be sure to follow us on all our social media channels and I'll see you next time from the Muppet Stuff Museum. <laughs>